Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have some more Twilight PvP battles starring Tyranitar this time and some of you had said in the previous video that you prefer if I did not speed up the video so we're going to try that in this video. Let me know if you prefer the videos this way or that way and I'll definitely take your comments into consideration. But anyway, I do have my Venomoth out. He switches into his... Uh, Quillfish and I do go ahead and get off that Silverwind. He blocks it. I was a little surprised as to why he blocked it. I wasn't really sure why he blocked that. Probably because the Confusion would have taken him out on the following turn. But he does get off an Ice Beam so maybe that's why he blocked it. He's able to get off that Ice Beam and I do go ahead and use a Shield because I didn't want to be knocked out because I knew I would have the Silverwind available and I also have Confusion ready to go so I do go ahead and get off that Silverwind and I know I'm really not getting three Circle Rings around most of this battle just because I was outside you know I was it, it was a little bit difficult to concentrate and whatnot so not really performing the best I could have I guess but anyway switching into my Tyranitar now Tyranitar is a good counter to Venomoth it's also a good counter to Golbat and Crobat but as you're gonna find out right about now it absolutely loses to Toxicroak you know Tyranitar is four times weak to Toxicroak so of course it's gonna go down extremely fast uh, so yeah, I mean Tyranitar is a good Pokemon, it can definitely counter some of the Pokemon I feel like you're going to encounter, as I said, like the Bats, or like uh, Venomoth, or even some other Pokemon, you know, but it's still not the greatest Pokemon in my opinion for this particular cup, so I wouldn't use it in the tournament, but, you know, it is a good one, but we do go ahead and take the win and knock out that Toxicroak uh, with a Zoomel, so yeah. That is definitely a win for us, so good game, good game. I had a good game in that battle. And we're going to go ahead and move on, beginning with Clefable. He does begin with Alolan Ninetales. Now, you guys know I don't like switching first, so I decided to just stay in. And, yeah, we're doing about the same amount of damage to each other, so kind of even, but I do get off that Medium Mesh. Now, of course, he's going to block it because of how frail Alolan Ninetales is. And that would have knocked it out. If it didn't knock it out, it would have done it extreme amount of damage that's why he chose to block he does get off the ice beam now ice beam is going to do a lot to Clef clefable just because of how much attack alolan ninetales has so of course i'm going to forfeit a shield in that situation he decides to pull the switch into tentacruel and i do have my charge moves ready to go deciding to use medium mash because medium mash even on a neutral target it's still going to do a decent amount of damage now unfortunately tentacruel does resist it because it's part water so you know still doing a relatively okay amount of damage but nothing too great but i decided to just stay in with another medium mash he takes the hit wasn't sure if he was going to use a shield there so yeah even though it wasn't doing a whole lot of damage to tentacruel we still got it down to the red so that tentacruel is almost out of the battle he does unfortunately get off his charge move and i'm going to go ahead and block because sludge wave would do a lot of damage even though I'm a toxic croak and I do resist that but yeah we're able to knock it out with counter so we almost have a mud bomb ready to go on whatever he brings out and we're about to find out what he decides to choose and go in taking a little bit of time thinking about it and um, yeah he decides to go ahead and bring in that Venomoth now we are going to go ahead and pull the switch because Azumel is a good counter it's a good counter to anything that isn't super effective against it just because it's a really bulky Pokemon he does get off his bug buzz but yeah it's not really going to do a whole lot of damage to us just because as I said Azumel is really bulky we do go ahead and get off that Ice Beam now Ice Beam is going to be enough to do a significant amount of damage Damage, if not knock it out but he does go ahead and block of course he's gonna have to use that last shield just because of how uh, much damage it would have done unfortunately he gets off his bug buzz before I'm able to get off my ice beam and that is gonna be enough to knock us out so it's really unfortunate for us we do go ahead and get off that mud bomb now he doesn't have any more shields to protect not knocking it out but doing a lot of damage but he's able to knock us out because confusion is going to absolutely destroy toxic croak just because toxic croak is four times weak to it so we do go ahead and take the loss there still picking up 500 starters though so I'll definitely take that 
and we're going to go ahead and move on to the next battle right about now. But yeah, that was a really good one. I really enjoyed that. This battle, I am beginning with my Crobat. He is beginning with his Quillfish, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the switch immediately into Venomoth because I know Confusion is super effective against Poison Pokemon, so it was a good switch for me. He's still doing a good amount of damage to me as well, so, you know, it's kind of an even trade, but I thought it was worth it. He does get off the Ice Beam. I am going to use a Shield because I didn't want to uh, to be knocked out. I wanted to be able to knock him out. So we do go ahead and forfeit his shield, getting off a Silver Wind. Now, I knew that he wouldn't block this Silver Wind because it's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Venomoth resisted. But, you know, we're still doing a lot of damage, a lot to him. And he's also able to knock us out with Confusion, unfortunately. But now I do bring in Tyranitar, which, as I said, is the star of this video, and it's going to be able to knock out that Venomoth easily. Confusion's not going to do a lot to us. Uh, although bug moves are strong against Tyranitar. Actually, it's isn't it neutral because rocks resist it? I believe it is neutral. Um, but anyway, we're going up against Tentacruel, and he's going to go ahead and he chooses to block that. I wasn't sure if he would block it, but he did go ahead and block that. He does get off a Sludge Wave. I do go ahead and block this just because Sludge Wave does a lot of damage. So I decided, you know what, let's not take that damage. We'll go ahead and block it. Now, you know, my Tyranitar's... Stone Edge does take a while to charge. That's why not a huge fan of Tyranitar. If you wanted to purchase a secondary move, probably Crunch. I don't know. I'd have to look at its move pool. But anyway, we do go ahead and switch into Crobat. And we're able to knock out that Tentacruel. And we do take the win. So yet another good game. Yet another good game. So really fun Really fun game. So yeah, Tyranata can definitely do well, and it does do well in some situations. But as I said, you know, it's going to lose to Toxicroak and other Pokemon. You know, it loses to Fairy Pokemon. It loses to Azumarill, you know. So, you know, it's it's a good Pokemon, but it's one I'm not going to use for this cup. So he begins with a Quillfish. I begin with a Lolan Muck. I decided to pull the switch into Venomoth because I knew how much that confusion would do to Quillfish, and he does get off his Ice Beam, but I decided to go ahead and block it because I didn't want to take that damage, and I felt like that would have knocked me out or either done a lot of damage, but I do go ahead and knock out his Quillfish, have a Silver Wind ready to go, and we're, go we're going to see what he switches into. I just used that Silver Wind immediately, so it's a Tentacruel. I knew he wouldn't block just because Tentacruel does resist it. It actually takes it quite well, uh, quite well indeed, actually. But, you know, Confusion is still going to do a good amount of damage, quite a bit of damage, actually, to that Tentacruel before he's able to knock us out. We do get another Silver Wind off, and even though it's not going to do a lot of damage, it's still chipping away at his health. He does decide to block it. It wouldn't have knocked him out, so I was actually a little bit surprised at him blocking it. I didn't think he would block it but he's very low at this point and right now just thinking which one I want to uh, bring in I decide decide to bring in that Alolan Muck just because I know it resists like Sludge Wave or whatnot but yet that still does a lot of damage so I was actually really surprised at how much damage that did but I guess it's kind of you know to be expected now I thought I'd be able to knock him out before he got off another Sludge Wave that's why I didn't use my charge move unfortunately not the case so I do go ahead and block it but we do get the Tentacruel out of the way now and I do go ahead and use my Gunk Shot attack and this would have done quite a bit of damage if he didn't go ahead and block it, but of course he's going to go ahead and block it. He does knock out a Alolan Muck, and I'm going to go ahead and switch into my last Pokemon, which is unfortunately that Tyranitar. And as I said, Tyranitar is not going to do anything to Toxicroak. Toxicroak completely destroys it, so you guys know I'm going to lose that match. You know, he didn't even have to use a charge move. He still would have knocked me out with counter. So that's a situation you really don't want to be in when you have your last Pokemon, Tyranitar, against a Toxicroak or something like that. So, definitely a bad way to go. That's why another reason I prefer not using Tyranitar. But that's not the only reason. But anyway, beginning with my Alolan Raticate. Just because I feel like I haven't used Alolan Raticate in quite some time. And I wanted to, you know, give it a try. He's using his cool fish. I noticed that he's doing more damage to me than I am to him. So, I decided to switch into Venomoth, which I knew would be able to knock it out. However, he does pull the switch, which was a good 
decision on his end and uh, unfortunately not going to do much with that confusion to skunk tank so i decided to go ahead and use civil wind which i knew would do a good amount of damage to him i was actually half expecting him to block because i knew that would do a decent amount of damage to him but he decides not to block and he is able to knock out my Venom Morph, which is unfortunate for me. Uh, taking a little bit of time to decide who I want to switch into, I decided to switch into Tyranitar, which is going to finish off that Skunk Tank and quick and he's gonna go ahead and switch into cool fish stars you know happy that he didn't have that uh, toxic croak because I knew I would take a lot of damage from it and be knocked out quick I did decide to block this ice beam because you know it would have done a lot of damage to me so able to finish off this cool fish quick but you know now he's down to his last Pokemon. I knew it wasn't a Toxic Croak because he didn't switch it in when I had my Tyranitar. I do get off a Stone Edge and he is going to block because why not? He's down to his last Pokemon, right? And of course his uh, Tentacle is going to be able to finish me off quite nicely. And I do go ahead and switch into a Lolan Raticate. And, you know, I knew it was going to go either way. A little bit of lag, but that's okay. You know, I know, as I said, it could go either way. You know, it depends. We both have one shield left, so... Yeah, I'm trying to get off the Hyper Fang. I actually do get off the Hyper Fang, so I knew he was going to use a shield at this point because, as I said, down to his last Pokemon, there's no reason not to use a Protect Shield. And he does get off Sludge Wave. I do go ahead and use my shield to protect myself from that. And... Yeah, it was really close at this point, but he's doing a little bit more damage to me than I am to him. However, I'm getting my charge move off a little bit quicker, so I'm like, can this Hyper Fang finish off? Probably not. We're so close. If I'm able to finish it off with Quick Attack, we're going to win. But no, he does get off that final Sludge Wave, and I knew Sludge Wave was just going to knock me out because of how much damage it does. So, good game. He does go ahead and knock me out, but look how close we were, guys. Just a little bit more damage, and we would have had that game, but that's okay. He does get off that Sludge Wave and win. So, good game, good game. Really fun game. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into another battle, and I believe we have a couple more battles left. And, um, yeah, but that was a really good game. That was a really close game, you know, uh, really fun. And I'm going to begin with my Azumel. How bulky? Yes, it's incredibly bulky. He does begin with his shiny Umbreon, and he's going to go ahead and pull the switch because Umbreon can't do anything to Azumel because his has dark moves. It's not going to do anything to a fairy type. I do go ahead and pull the switch into my Venomoth, which is going to be strong against Tentacruel because Tentacruel is a poison type. He does get off Sludge Wave, but I do go ahead and block that because Sludge Wave seems to do a lot of damage regardless of what it hits, even if it resists. But I do go ahead and get off a Silver Wind, and he is not going to block because it doesn't do a lot of damage. However, we're still able to knock it out with that Confusion. So good old Venomoth, able to knock it out, and we almost have another charge move ready to go. He does switch into his own Venomoth, so basically they both super effective against each other because they're both poison types. I do go ahead and use my charge move before he could use his. And he does block it. And he's able to knock me out. So, you know, really good move. I'm uh, debating a little bit which one I want to go into. I decided to run a top because I know it's going to be super effective against that Venomoth. And it's just going to wreck through it. He does get off his bug move and I do go ahead and block it because bugs are strong against dark types so I do go ahead and, and protect myself against that and we do go ahead and knock out that Venomoth and he brings in his Umbreon but Umbreon well it's his final Pokemon but he, he says dark moves so Tyranitar is going to resist that so I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident I'm in a pretty good position uh, at least it's not Toxic Rogue right you know so yeah I mean if you do bring Tyranitar with you uh, you could decide not to bring it in the match if your opponent has a Toxic Croak. Uh, yeah, a Toxic Croak because it is a dangerous Pokemon uh, to bring with you if you're going up against a Toxic Croak because Toxic Croak completely destroys Tyranitar in every way, shape, or form, you know. So, you know, four times weak to it. But we do go ahead, get off that Stone Edge, and showing the bulk in that Umbreon, not actually able to knock that Umbreon out. So he does knock out Tyranitar, and I do go ahead and bring in my Azu Meryl. And I don't even need my charge moves because I know I'm able to finish it off with Bubble. He does get off his Dark Foul Play, but again, Azumel is going to resist that. So we do take that win, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.